Given that we saw the big city at the end of the last chapter, we assume there's a lot of crime. So we charge up our gent pipe and beat the shit out of Bendy until he agrees to be our tour guide. Me and my inky boys walking through the streets. One fell down and died. On the tour, Bendy showed us his favorite butchery, where instead of eating animals, we eat vegans. And then we proceed to break into a hotel. Inside the hotel, we find Joey Drew again? This motherfucker faked his death twice! And then Joey forcibly makes us sit through his backstory. And let me sum up the backstory for you. Joey meets a girl. He falls in love with this girl and wants to start a family. But he's too attached to his work. So he does the best of both worlds and shoves his dick inside the ink machine, thus creating... Wait, we? We were created? What the fuck? Oh, uh, Joey had sex with the machine? And I was the result? Given that we're born out of the machine, we decide to tell Bendy that we're actually related. He does not take the information too kindly and turns into Satan. In an attempt to escape the ink demon, we run into a nearby building known as the Gent Corporation. In here, we're greeted by a mysterious stranger known as the Keeper. The Keepers were actually hired by Wilson as new employees for his chain restaurant, which is now spread all across the world. Because of this, though, they're mad at us because we quit, so they're trying to hunt us down. And then I decided I could try and get a jump on one of the Keepers and die. When sneaking around, we quickly learned that when these guys saw us, they would hunt us down for blood, no matter what. We weren't even safe in the vents. After we narrowly escape death again, we try and escape the factory, when we're greeted by this weird girl. She just wants to play fucking hide-and-seek in exchange for the key out. So she goes back into the place with all the fucking keepers, holy shit! Yeah. After searching around for the hider, we finally find what we're looking for. Oh no, my god. <laughs> he saw me hit every button I could. Wait, fuck, that was the wrong girl. Not too long after we find the actual girl we're looking for, where she gives us the key to the room we were looking for, and the ability to fast travel, an ability we use once to get back to the door where she asked us to play hide and seek, and never again. Oh. Oh, it's that guy! Upon entering the locked room, we see three different jail cells, each with a subject number. Upon opening the first one, we see a guy we've never seen before. Apparently his name is Henry, and we played as him in the first video game. They locked him up because he's what they call a cycle breaker. A cycle breaker is essentially someone who knows how to reset the world they're living in. And Wilson chose to lock him up because, well, obviously he doesn't want his chain restaurant going astray. Henry tells us in order to reset the cycle, we must feed Bendy enough chicken sandwiches to the point where he explodes. See, Bendy actually has a severe chicken allergy. Hence why they don't serve chicken at Wilson's restaurant. The second jail cell contains another character from the first game. This one is Sammy Lawrence, a well-renowned food inspector. But the issue is his favorite food's chicken, so of course they wouldn't let him stay in the restaurant. So they locked him up. The interesting thing about Sammy, though, is he's actually part chicken, meaning that he's a cannibal. The exact kind of customers our restaurant likes. Next up, we have the third cell. As we open the third cell, we look in and see, oh, oh shit, they escaped. Hopefully that won't come back to bite us in the butt later. Continuing into the lab, we find uh, some fresh milk. I don't think it was that, but that's a good callback because it was like, ooh, memory. Fresh milk. milk? I don't know if it's fresh anymore. And a button to escape, so we go ahead and hit that button. But after hitting yeah. the button, the siren start. What? This wasn't. This wasn't part of the plan. Oh no! And a keeper showed up, and they kill us. Um. Wait, no, we're alive. They just stole Carson. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd he go? Carson's gone. <laughs>